Hey Collective, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is a collective reading for all signs, okay? For Taurus, sorry, not Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, but for Earth, Air, Water, Fire, okay? So let us see what the messages have for you, okay? Some of you guys could literally be having headaches, his splitting headaches, okay? You guys could be feeling a little bit dizzy, but this is very common for now. So this is a collective energy, five of swords. I keep channeling that all the time now, but it's because it's so common. You could also be seeing crows, okay? But I'm also getting there could be some type of petty energy around you. Someone is trying to one-up you, but it's like, it's not going to get far, okay? Someone wants to outsmart you or someone sees you as very smart. They see you as having all the answers, but it's like they want to like keep asking you questions over and over and over to see what you say. Someone likes the way you speak. Someone likes the way you express yourself. But it's like this person also kind of feels like you know all the answers or the way you come across is like you know everything. Someone could be saying, oh, you know everything. But you are just very knowledgeable. You're not, you're not stuck up, but it's like this person may perceive you as this. Okay, someone may think that you know everything. This could be coworkers, this could be friends. People may ask you for what advice, what is this, what is that, okay? Some of you guys are literally teachers. Some of you guys have the ability to counsel, to do workshops, okay? I see someone setting up a workshop seminar. Congratulations to that to you. But I am, I am challenging, see, challenging. Someone is trying to challenge you. Someone, I would say channeling, but someone could be trying to challenge you, challenge your beliefs, challenge your, 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 your test, okay? Some of you guys could be testing an exam, okay, a study exam. I'm also seeing a university, okay? I'm hearing the bar. Some of you guys could be going to school for the police academy or you could be studying for law, okay? And you're being tested, you're being tested, someone's trying to test you. They want to see how much you know or how much you, something about how much you know or how knowledgeable that you are, okay? You are very smart, but someone keeps asking you questions. Like they want to see what you say because they feel like you already know everything or this is how someone perceives you. Or this person wants to see it, how much you know. How knowledgeable are you, okay? Let's see. The death card. Yeah, could be a Scorpio. I'm seeing literally a transformation here. You guys have a lot of changes here, okay? This could be literally um, a death here for some of you. This could literally be someone passed away, okay? Someone, maybe you're thinking of somebody who in, from the past who has passed away. My condolences. For some of you, it's just a transition. It's a rebirth, okay? It's like you, you're you so different now, Collective. It's like people see you as knowing everything now. And it's maybe people thought that they underestimated you. They underestimated how much you know. But it's like now they see how much you know. And now they want to ask you questions. Isn't that so funny? For some of you. But I'm getting a change. A, a death. Literally. A death. A death could have changed some of you. For some of you, literally, this could have been a physical death. This could have changed you. I'm also getting someone could have passed away, someone had a near-death experience, I'm also channeling, someone could have passed away in the past and they were revived, okay, they had a second chance for some of you, okay, I'm getting a near-death experience, some of you could have had a near-death experience, okay, look how there's like this death and you see the light over here, someone saw the lights, okay, you could be going astral traveling too, I'm seeing, I'm also seeing Santa Muerte, okay, some of you guys could be devotees to her, or you guys could be connecting to her, or she could be connecting to you, for some of you. The Ace of Swords, wow, that is the truth. I didn't even know these cards were in here, wow. The Moon card with the Ace of Swords, yeah, this is the truth here. Someone literally, I see you guys having more intellectual conversations, okay? The way you talk could have changed as well, Collective. Like, the way you speak is different. The way you sound is different for some of you, okay? Some of you have an accent. Some of you could have had an accent and now you assimilated. But for others of you, you have a very distinct accent. You could also be an actor. You literally could do voiceovers so you know how to, like, change your voice, okay? 
I'm also getting two collectives. Some of you guys could literally be doing a lot of soul searching. You're soul searching your fears. You're getting some type of clarity here when it comes to your, your thoughts here. Some of you guys could literally be ghosting people right now or you could be by yourself, okay? I see someone staring outside at the stars at night. I see you also doing a lot of soul searching. You could also be studying your moon sign, okay? Or your past lives here. I'm also seeing something about a synastry chart. You could be getting your synastry chart read with a partner here, with a Pisces, okay? Again, that moon energy, this is all about the lion's gate, y'all, is so powerful. It's all about transformation, it's crazy. I'm seeing something made clear to you. Something is going to be brought to the light, okay? But I see you also, I'm also channeling a psychology energy. Some of you guys could be psychology majors, okay? Some of you could be working with someone that had lost, lost a loved one recently and you're working with them, the grieving process. You're helping someone overcome their fears, overcome their anxiety. I'm also getting someone could have also dealt with social anxiety. You're learning to speak up. You are slowly learning to speak your truth here. Very beautiful energy here. A lot of magic as well. A lot of magic. Some of you guys can literally be saying affirmations to the moon. You're setting out intentions to the universe. You're speaking to the universe, okay? Some of you are literally, I see a lot of smoke here. You could be seeing a lot of smoke in your dreams or you could be around a lot of smoke. Smoke could be very common for you, okay? I also see someone could be smoking weed at night. You could be getting high at night or you're smoking the blues, what I'm hearing, or you're smoking under the moon, okay? If that's your thing, that's your thing. I'm also channeling Snoop Dogg. Some of you guys could be listening to Snoop Dogg or you have a connection to Snoop Dogg or rap, okay? I'm also channeling 90s rap. You're very deep, collective. I feel like you literally are having conversations with yourself. You could be talking to yourself a lot or you're having conversations in your head about this transformation, about where you're going next. Some of you know a secret and you're keeping this to yourself right now. Spirit is saying, keep that secret, keep that idea to yourself. Some of you have an idea that you need to keep silent. You Don't speak on it. Don't speak on all your blessings. Okay, don't speak on this change yet. Some of you, this there could be someone that literally doesn't like how you transform. Someone doesn't like how some of you have spoken or you're speaking up. Okay, someone could literally not like how you speak for some of you. But who cares? You're beautiful. Someone could have also had a speech impediment. You guys could have stuttered or you guys could have went to like a speech class. Okay, or you're learning to speak more. I'm also channeling Shakespeare. You could be reading a lot of poetry. Okay. You're reading a lot of literature. You're educating yourself at this time. I'm getting someone also writing a lot. You could be getting a creative idea at night, okay, at midnight or at 12, 12, okay? You have a lot of downloads coming into a spiritual downloads collective. This is so beautiful. Like, this is legit so beautiful for you guys. I see a big transformation a big shift i also see you want some of you could be going to the gym at night too you may like to go to the gym at a certain time when there's less people you may exercise when there's nobody there hey if that's your thing that's amazing right but i see a big big transformation here i also see someone getting more protein getting more vitamins or you could be starting to take some type of medication starting at nighttime starting at bedtime here okay i'm also channeling advil for your headaches advil for your migraines okay Someone wants to give you a headache, baby, but it's not working. You already know the truth about this person, okay? There's nothing more to say about this person, but someone wants to know your business, but Spirit is telling you to keep this to yourself right now. Not everyone can hear the truth. Not everyone is ready to hear the truth, okay? That's why you need to literally keep it to yourself. Now, some of you could literally be speaking your mind to people, and this is why people are like, wow, what happened to you? You changed. You never used to be like this, but it's like you're speaking out. You're speaking your truth. You're speaking your story, okay? But don't speak too much. Not everyone needs to know all of your blessings because you have blessings coming in, baby, but you need, you, not all people need to know, okay? Not everyone wants to see your blessings here, okay? Let's see. What else is coming in for the collective? The Ace of Pentacles. Look, a brand new offer. Let me tell you, money is going to look a lot better for you guys, okay? I see a lot of changes. I'm seeing an offer being made to you in silence, okay? Someone could be secretly making you an offer or maybe they could be giving you a donation here, okay? 
You could be getting like a donation if you have a business at night. Someone may message you for a reading at night, if you're especially if you're spiritual. But I see a blessing coming in. I also see money spells for some of you. Some of you could be doing money rituals at night under the moon. Or you're manifesting something. Something is coming in from the ethers to the physical, to the material world with the Ace of Pentacles. Something is manifesting. Something's coming in. Okay? What is coming in? What is this moon card energy for the collective? I also get you guys could literally be literally reading a lot more books. So you're having more intellectual conversations with someone. Someone could be a bookworm or a nerd, okay? You could be attracting this energy. Look at that. Six of Wands. Success. Victory. But keep this victory in silence right now. Not everybody needs to know your business, okay? But I see literally also something going viral overnight. Something's going big. Something's going to get very big overnight. Literally overnight success for some of you. Or this is the start of something big for you, okay? Something is changing. Something, your destiny. Your Check your north node as well. Your karma is changing is what I'm hearing. Good karma. Luck is on your side here. Someone's name could be Destiny, okay? You could also be listening to Destiny's Child as well. That's actually a pretty good song. Let us see, what is this? Queen of Wands, baby, you are so successful. I see someone could also own a, a hair care business, okay? You could be making weaves or you could be um, going more natural, but I also see someone taking hair supplements, vitamins to grow your hair, grow your nails, grow your skin. Grow your skin. Glow your skin, okay? Someone's having a glow up. I see you looking beautiful, looking good, looking sexy, okay? I see someone also like an office manager and they have a cute outfit. That is so cute. Knight of Swords. Someone is coming in. Who is this Knight of Swords? Someone sees you. Oh, someone sees you. Look how there's someone coming and you don't even see it. They're coming behind you, the Knight of Swords. They're coming behind the Six of Wands. Someone wants to catch up to you or someone wants to come and chase. Someone could be chasing you, y'all. Someone is chasing you. Hopefully they're hot, right? <laughs> Let's see. Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. There's something coming in very fast, okay? I'm also getting some of you um, could also be getting a new car or you could be driving faster. You may notice people around you could be also driving faster on the street. So be careful with that. But I just see something coming in fast, some type of communication for you, okay? Literally, someone could be traveling to see you. Someone could be coming to see you at night, too. Someone could be driving to your place at night. Okay, if you're having also... I'm also seeing, like, Meet Me, Tinder, dating app, okay? What else is coming in for you? The Wheel of Fortune. Some type of change. Some type of... Com wow, a new beginning. Remember I said good karma, destiny here? Wheel of Fortune. Something's changing. Something's going in your favor. Some of you guys may also be, like, um, eating more fortune cookies. Or you could be, like opening up your fortune cookie and seeing your little fortune for some of you, okay? A channeled fortune cookie. What is this? Nine of Pentacles, oh my God. Some of you also, literally, independence, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, look at all these things growing. Some of you also could be um, learning to be single or you may just wanna be single for some time for some of you, okay? I'm also getting you just want to be, you just want to focus on yourself. You want to focus on your, your growth, your material things. And there's someone that wants to come towards you. What is this person's intentions though? But you're looking so good. Y'all, I don't even think you see this coming. Like this person or this energy that's coming in. It's going to come in so fast. Who is this person? What is their intentions? What is their intentions here? What is their intentions? Page of Cups. They want to communicate. They want some of you. This could be an apology. But I see someone wants to communicate. Someone has a crush on you for some of you. I'm hearing secret admirer. Somebody wants to tell you how they feel. I'm channeling the name Trevor or Tom or Thompson. Or they can have this last name. Or Troy or Terrence I'm hearing. They may have the initials T. may be significant, okay? Ace of Cups, oh my God. Look at this, 
new love, a new offer here. I also see, do see two offers here, but I feel like what is happening collective is because you're loving yourself, you're focusing on yourself. Some of you, this is literally you growing to love yourself more. You starting the new journey on loving yourself and you growing into loving yourself more. I see a big glow up for all of you. Some of you, this isn't a person. This could literally be just you starting off slowly loving yourself and growing into loving yourself more but i do see someone coming in to make you an offer for some of you okay someone has very nice shoes you may like shoes or this person may have flashy shoes okay someone has a flashy flashy outfit for some of you Woo. let's see the tower scorpio energy wow oh my god so i'm hearing um, that Shrek song, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, what is that, I'm all in love, what is that song called, y'all, problem, baby, doo -doo 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 -doo. no, that is love, love, doo -doo 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 -doo. someone could be literally unexpectedly falling in love with you, okay, or you unexpectedly fall in love with someone. Someone does not expect to fall in love fast, okay? Literally, you're not seeing this coming. Some of you are going to be literally in love or someone is going to be in love with you, okay? I'm also channeling a soundtrack here. Like, you could literally be falling in love with a soundtrack. Or you could be li literally replaying a certain music over and over and over an album here. Someone likes your music. Someone likes your talent here. Somebody wants to literally come towards you. I'm hearing scouting. Someone is wanting to recruit you. Recruit you for your music, recruit you for a program here. I'm also channeling a breast cancer survivor. Some of you could have been breast cancer survivors. You're speaking about your testimony. Congratulations. Yeah, the tower. Look, the tower again. You got the tower twice, bro. Double Scorpio energy. Something big is coming in. You're not going to see it. Others of you too, there may be like change in weather patterns with like thunder. Okay, you may see a lot more thunder or like things may be like, um, you may see a lot of thunder on the news or on, on the internet. Okay, something about thunder and lightning. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Give me one last for the collective. The nine of cups, baby. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. You're learning to be happy. You're learning to be like so happy with yourself. Some of you may turn down this offer because you're so happy focusing on yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm good. I love myself enough. But see, that is what's attracting this person to you. So I'm getting a lot of beautiful energy coming in for you, Collective. I'm hearing keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going, Collective. Go, 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 go. Literally, I'm hearing that. Go and don't stop. So that is your message collective. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.